For more than 100 years, the Hillsboro Lighthouse has been beckoning to us. For many years, you couldn't visit the lighthouse. It's a landmark at the mouth of the Hillsboro Inlet in North Broward, but the only way to reach it by land requires crossing private property. Now, however, the U.S. Coast Guards have approved a schedule where the Volunteer Preservation Society can offer tours several times a year by boat. A visit makes an excellent day trip. You start at Sands Harbor Marina in Pompano Beach and get to enjoy a little sightseeing on a two-mile boat ride to the lighthouse. At the lighthouse, there are informational signs and a one-room museum where you learn its colorful history. You climb 175 steps that spiral up the tower to the top. With each landing, you peer out the window as the view gets better and better. At the top, you can spend as long as you'd like, gazing in every direction. Looking down, you see the quaint 100-year-old cottages that once housed the lighthouse keeper and his family. You can see into the clear water, into a reef right along the beach of the lighthouse. And you can watch the steady flow of boats in and out of the busy inlet. Before I visited, I had no idea that it has the brightest light of any lighthouse in the world, visible for 28 miles at sea. While visiting the lighthouse, you learn the story of the barefoot mailman honored with a memorial statue. The mailman walked more than 40 miles of sandy shore each week to deliver mail between Palm Beach and Miami at the turn of the 19th century. One mailman died at the Hillsboro Inlet, presumably killed by alligators. To find out more about how to visit the lighthouse, visit floridarambler.com and click on Historic Florida. I'm Bonnie Gross for floridarambler.com.